Send ye the lamb to the ruler of the land from Silah to the wilderness, unto the mount of the daughters of Zion. For it shall be that as the wandering bird cast out of the nest, so the daughters of Moab shall be at the fords of Arnon. Take counsel, execute judgment, make thy shadow as the night in the midst of the noonday, hide the outcasts, bewray not him that wandereth. Let mine outcasts dwell with thee, Moab. Be thou a covert to them for the face of the spoiler. For the extortioner is at an end. The spoiler ceaseth, the oppressors are consumed out of the land. And in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David, judging and seeking judgment and hasting righteousness. We have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very proud, even of his haughtiness and his pride, and his wrath. But his lie shall not be so. Therefore shall Moab howl for Moab, every one shall howl for the foundations of Kir Haraseth. Shall ye mourn, surely they are stricken, for the fields of Heshbon languish. And the vine of Sibma, the lords of the heathen have broken down the principal plants thereof. They are come even unto Yazer, they wandered through the wilderness. Her branches are stretched out. They are gone over the sea. Therefore, I will bewail with the weeping of Yazer, the vine of Sibma. I will water thee with my tears, O Heshbon, and Elialeh. For the shouting for thy summer fruits and for thy harvest is fallen. And gladness is taken away, and joy out of the plentiful field. And in the vineyards there shall be no singing. Neither shall there be shouting. The treaders shall tread out no wine in their presses. I have made their vintage shouting to cease. Therefore my bowel shall sound like an harp for Moab, and mine inward parts for Kiharesh. And it shall come to pass, when it is seen that Moab is weary on the high place, that he shall come to his sanctuary to pray, but he shall not prevail. This is the word that the Lord hath spoken concerning Moab since that time. But now the Lord hath spoken, saying, Within three years, as the years of an hireling, and the glory of Moab shall be contemned, with all that great multitude, and the remnant shall be very small and feeble. And the Lord was with him, and he prospered whithersoever he went forth. And he rebelled against the king of Assyria, and served him not, he smote the Philistines even unto Gazab, and the borders thereof, from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. And they went to the entrance of Gedor, even unto the east side of the valley, to seek pasture for their flocks. And they found fat pasture and good, and the land was wide and quiet and peaceable, for they of Ham had dwelt there of old. And these, written by name, came in the days of Hezekiah, king of Judah, and smote their tents and the habitations that were found there, and destroyed them utterly unto this day, and dwelt in their rooms, because there was pasture there for their flocks. And some of them, even the sons of Simeon, five hundred men, went to Mount Seir, having for their captains Pelatia, and Neria, and Rephasia, Rephaia, and Uziel, the son of Eshi. And they smote the rest of the Amalekites that were escaped, and dwelt there unto this day.